Hey guys, it's Harley Wood. Today we're gonna take a look at this Razor from Rugged Suppressors. Now this one is smaller than the Surge, but a little bit bigger than the compact version of the Micro 30. Now the Micro 30 also has a, uh, an extension that makes it about this same size. So this came out before that. This has been out for a little while. And um, this one's probably the best blend of versatility as well as efficiency in terms of its compact size as well as its sound dampening ability. This one is super easy to switch back and forth. So it has a locking collar and they have proprietary muzzle devices. Literally just twist it on and then lock that locking collar. And I'll show you a little more close detail when we get it on the bench, but we're gonna shoot it on my 308 today. And then I'm gonna take it off and put it on the 300 blackout and see how it does on there. Let's do some shooting. That was so quiet. <laughs> I was expecting my normal shot at deer camp. That was badass. Let's <laughs> hit. Yeah, baby. Oh, no, nope. it. went over it. Yep. All right, and now we've got that razor on this 300 blackout. Freedom Munitions sent us some of this American Eagle suppressor. So we're gonna see how this does. going to do some standard velocity. This is 150 grain from Fiocchi. See how that compares to the subsonic. Okay, that's hitting steel. Let me shoot it without the steel. It's going to be hard to tell because the the audio mic on the camera is going to try to level set all of the audio quality. Um, that still has a little bit of a crack to it. We were talking off camera a minute ago, and I feel like you should probably, if you're gonna do a lot of that all day, you should probably still have some ear pro in. the Razor from Rugged. This is kind of the middle version. The Surge is the longer version. The Micro is about this size with the extension, but it's shorter without that extension. And on a 300 blackout shooting subsonic, this is pretty perfect in my opinion. That was very hearing safe. 
If you're gonna be doing a lot of shooting and you're not shooting subsonic loads, you may wanna throw up set of Ear Pro on. On the 308, this still has a little bit of crack. Now for hunting applications, that's probably not a big deal because you're not gonna be having you know, a prolonged shooting session, hopefully. Um, if you're just shooting one or two rounds, not gonna be a problem. The Surge is the longer version. That may be a little better, especially I sit in a deer stand all day. I'm not really as concerned with weight or the length of the suppressor. So the Surge being a little bit longer may be better for the 308. The Micro, I'll be curious to see how that one does. There's a lot of reviews out there. So far, people seem to like it, but I'll post a link in the description below where you can check it out. Thank you for watching, guys. If you like this video, please hit that subscribe button below. We've got lots more to come, and we'll see you in the next one. All right, and now we're going to do some standard velo velocity. velocity. All right, and now we're going to shoot. See how that compares to that the uh, 